big bowl and uh, as you can see it's got some avocado uh, just a little bit of cheese uh, sour cream uh, like beef or whatever you call it and uh, at the bottom of all this is uh, white rice there it is so and uh, yeah black beans so yeah avocado beef sour cream uh, rice, black beans, cheese. Here we go. You can just uh, watch me eat all this. This is what you call a strong man dinner. This is how I'm going to be able to bench 300 and squat over 400 pounds by summertime. I should be squatting over 400 pounds right now but because of life injuries that's not happening right now I should be repping out 405 right now my max should be around maybe 440, 450 and my deadlift should be around 500 but it's whatever nothing really say about that so it's whatever right now. Just gotta work hard and eat. I'm finna watch some videos while I do this. Oh, and I got this right here. Nothing but steroids. Yep. I didn't really count anything. I did count the uh, whole can of black beans. And it was around 21 grams of protein. And um, I would say, let's see, I got two scoops of the beef. So I would say that's around maybe, hmm, maybe 15 to 20 grams of protein. And the white rice around six the cheese maybe like five so a total of maybe like between fifty no maybe like forty to fifty maybe more I'm really bad at math but may I would say between forty and sixty grams of protein maybe even more I don't know but I usually don't count when I eat. I mean, sometimes I do if I know I didn't have a lot to eat that day, but as long as I'm getting a big breakfast and a big dinner, I'm fine. And this is what I call a big dinner. your poop first. Hmm. Let's watch some Elliot Hulse videos. You know what? I'm going to watch my favorite powerlifting motivation video. I was thinking about this video today, and I really wanted to watch it.
So yeah, you know what? I would say this is around 60 to 70 grams of protein. Actually, because 40 is a little bit too low. Believe it or not, there's actually some nights, like tonight, where I literally feel like skipping dinner. I'm like, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I don't feel like eating. But there's always something I think of. I'll think of what I really want to accomplish in life. I really want to accomplish a 405 squat. I want to get a 300 pound bench press and a 500 pound deadlift. And I want to win first or first through third place in my second con uh, strongman competition. So usually I'll think about things like that that really motivate me and then I'll go make some food and then I see all this food in the cab. It's actually not, we don't have too much good stuff. It's like usually crappy food but if I find real food like this I'm down. I'm, I'm throwing it all into one bowl and eating it all.
was, um, at least they talk about me. Oh, really? Gotta get every last bit as much as you can. Let's say you're at a, a meet or a competition or something. And you feel like you're drained. You gotta find that last little bit of hard work that you, everything you went through. And that was my first competition. As soon as I got to that 275 sandbag, all I thought about was, you know, just get it up. Don't worry about if you get it or not, just get it. And I got it. 